The whole secret of successful fighting is to get your enemy at a disadvantage and never on any account fight him on equal terms. By George Bernard Shaw, Arms and the Man. How's it going everybody? I gotta start off by saying I am not an attorney. This is not legal advice. If you want legal advice, go get yourself an attorney. These are only my opinions and anything I say should not be construed as legal advice in any way, shape, or form. Now, <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of calls, people telling me that it's too late to file motions or they don't know how to file motions or, you know, they don't believe in motions and they, they got questions to ask the cop or they just hope the cop doesn't show up to court. Well, I'm going to tell you what I do when I'm being charged with a crime or when I'm being charged with a civil infraction. So this is going to apply, in my opinion, to any state anybody's in, or I'm in if I'm ever in any other state besides California. In California, when you're driving uh, and you're charged, for example, you're speeding down the road by 5 or 10 miles over the speed limit, they stop you, they say it's a crime. In other states, uh, you know, it's a civil infraction, and they'll give you a summons, you know, or, you know, some other states they just give you a complaint that's what they want to call it which I know it's not so <clears throat> let's get started if for some reason my motions don't work and I'm in court and I start uh, the cop finishes saying whatever he wants to say because obviously the cops go first now it doesn't matter if they go first second you know it, it doesn't matter the point is when they're done talking saying whatever they want to say my first words are going to be, for the record, Your Honor, I object as the officer stated facts that were not in evidence. I looked in my file, and the only thing that was in the file was the notice to appear, or summons, or complaint, whatever they want to call it. Okay? First thing I say, whether it's criminal or civil, that's exactly what I say. For the record, Your Honor, I am not able to defend myself because I had no idea what this officer was going to say since these facts were not in evidence and I'm now basically I'm not able to defend myself because I couldn't prepare uh, you know in a timely manner see what the judge says then I'm going to say if it's criminal for the record your honor I also must object and I move the court to state uh, if that the officer is authorized to move forward when in fact there is no corpus delecti since this is a criminal matter okay and see what the judge says there furthermore sir I'd like to go ahead and face my accuser who's your accuser now this would apply in civil or criminal well it's the people of the state of whatever the case may be Second of all, Your Honor, uh, for the record, is this officer authorized um, to move against me when there is no claim against me? Uh, you know? That's questions for the judge. Now you want to start asking the officer questions if you want to do what I do. Okay? Because this is what I do. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. If they choose to do it and whatever happens, it's not positive happens and you don't know how to respond, that's on you. I'm telling you what I do. And I ask the officer, officer, is it true that on this date you use your emergency procedures to stop me? He goes, well, yes. As a matter of fact, I had a, an officer practically laugh at me. Pfft, of course. Your Honor, I mean, is this guy for real? I said, oh, that's good. Okay. Well, sir. Uh, at the time of uh, the arrest, was there an emergency? Well, uh, um, Your Honor, but sir, please answer the question. Was there an emergency at the time that you used your emergency procedures? No. There was none. Oh, there wasn't. You know that constitutes fraud 
That's exactly what I said. For the record, Your Honor, I would like to uh, go ahead and make exception on the record. Exception means, you know, when you get the transcript, there'll be dashes. So you have to look for the stuff when you appeal, if you choose to do so. Okay. Uh, and, you know, so, okay. Uh, now, officer, are you claiming that I injured you? No. Did I injure anybody? No. So who did I injure, sir, since it's a crime? And there has to be an injured party, a corpus delecti, a body. And then I had the judge jump up. Well, sir, you know, see, in the state of California here, uh, the injured party will be the state of California. Objection, Your Honor. A move to strike. I don't think you can testify here, sir. I'm asking the officer a question, and he hasn't responded. I'm not asking you questions, sir. I believe you are the trier of facts. And you can't give me any kind of legal conclusion. For the record, I'd like to uh, know, sir, by what authority are you allowed to interject and interrupt me so as to confuse me, sir? Because I, I kind of don't remember what I was going to ask him. And I don't think that's an unbiased move. I think that's very biased, sir. So could you please refrain from interrupting me? I would really appreciate that. I just turned red as hell. Sir, once again, officer... Who are you claiming I injured since this is a crime? Well, you injured the people of the state of California. Well, sir, then uh, I would like to go ahead and, Your Honor, for the record, I'd like to face my accuser and put the state of California. I have some questions to see how I injured the state since it's only pieces of paper and it's a corporation filed in a cabinet somewhere in some city. Oh, uh, well, see, sir, uh, you know, well, uh, okay, so that's basic stuff for criminal. Let's move to civil. If I were in the state where it's civil infraction. Okay, um, go, same thing, go up there, Your Honor, for the record. I must object since the officer stated facts not in evidence. Because the only thing here is a citation that I got. The civil summons or civil citation. Officer, uh, is it true you use your emergency procedures? Well, yes, of course. Officer, at the time that you arrested me, did you go ahead and see any kind of emergency? Uh, well, you know, if they say, say they want to say your tail light was out. Well, your tail light was out. So, sir, officer, uh, does that constitute an emergency? And if it does, by what authority, what rule states that uh, tail light is an emergency? Because from what I understand, it's some kind of violation. Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so for the record, in other words, you had no idea whether it was an emergency or not, but you still used emergency procedures in order to arrest me, correct? I had an officer tell me one time, well, I didn't arrest you. I lawfully detained you. Well, for the record, you know what the word detained means, sir. And I made a video on this, these legal definitions, what they mean in court is different from what they mean outside. Officer, for the record, do you know what the word detained means? No. Well, let me enter it into the record. For the record, detain, and I read the definition, and at the bottom of the word detain, Black's Law, 5th edition, you'll see it's a form of arrest. And I turned around and I said, once again, sir, did you use your emergency procedures when there was no emergency at the time of my arrest? Well, um, yeah, no, there wasn't any. Let's just say they say yes. Okay, what well, was the emergency? And we'll go back to square one. That's exactly what well, your taillight was out. Okay, well, for the record, I object. You don't want to stay on the same subject because I don't. If you choose to, that's up to you. Then I said, well... Sir, did you have a warrant for my arrest? Well, well uh, you weren't arrested. Sir, we have already established that detain is a form of arrest. Did you have a warrant for my arrest? No. Well, for the record, sir, I'd like to show that the officer made a false arrest, false imprisonment, and I make exception, and I'll, I take exception on the record. And they put dashes later when you get your transcript. Okay. Well, it's civil. Sir, uh, can you produce the contract since you're claiming that this is civil? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm, and the standard questions would be like if they don't really know. The, sorry, sir, I don't think I, I can understand your question. Well, sir, this is civil. So I must have breached some kind of contract or I did some kind of wrong to you. I injured you in some way. I mean, did I do any of that, sir? No. Did I injure you? No. Was there a contract that I violated? Uh, if they say no, well then, 
how am I getting this citation? Well, you violated this. Well, sir, where's the contract stating that I can't violate this or that it even applies to me in the first place? So, this is the basic stuff, you guys. If you want to copy and do what I do, you can. All right? And I'm doing this. A lot of people told me not to do this because, you know, some people just want to charge up the yin-yang for this. But I believe that if you have this information, you should share with all because knowledge is free. So, peace out. If you guys want to donate, once again, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I mean, I do take time to study this. Uh, my own experience as well from doing it in court. So, I would really appreciate it. Uh, there's a link that should be there for my PayPal. And uh, God bless all of you and hope that, you know, you will start exposing the fraud. Because this is what it's about. Standing up for your rights.